Well, I, I recall as a, a very young boy, early 60s, my brother Tim, who is well known to you, um, he came to me and said, you know, what is it? Is it Carlton or is it Collingwood? Carlton's dad, Collingwood's mum. And look, I might have been a bit of a bandwagon supporter because it was, uh, it was around about 62. It was 61, 62. But they were just great times for a young kid growing up in Tasmania. 68, I was 12. 70, I was 14. 72, I was 16. I can plot my life um, on, those, on those great times. I, remembered, I remember a couple of days before the game, Tommy was talking up the poor weather. Um, Tommy wanted a, a glue pot. Tommy wanted a quagmire. And you know, we had, we had a very skilled team. We had the Mosquito Fleet, we had Sheldon, we had Buckley, we had Harms, uh, Michael Young, very proud of Michael Young, the Tasmanian. Um, and if anything was going to impact or negate us, it was the, the mud and the slush. And I was, I was worried about that going into the game. I think it was, you know, it was sort of nip and tuck all the way through, but they were cobbling goals together and we weren't. And it got to uh, late in the second quarter and they had about a five goal lead and we were, we were in strife, we were in big strife. And uh, um, I think that's about the time that uh, Alexander the Great made the masterstroke move, uh, Harms went onto the ball or into the middle. I've, um, I think Mark Hu came on as well and I think Mark Hu gave us a bit of dash as well. And, uh, and uh, you know, it was Buckley and Sheldon who started to find the ball around, around goal and we snapped a few and I think by half time we might have, uh, it was a, a line ball game, we might have had a, our noses hit in front. Buckley gets it out to Harms now, he's pursued by Brewer but he can't catch him. Harms fires at the goals but he's off target. It's rolling towards the boundary line and Harms almost makes ground, he taps it back to Sheldon and it's a goal! I was in such a state of excitement um, and I was just all about winning, you know, we just had to win and uh, I think, and you know, you can hear my recall of the game and I, I have done a little bit more reading, but uh, um, I think when it all happened, you know, Harmsey had the ball and drove it forward and, and I, you know, I had a perfect view and uh, he just did what he had to do. He had to get to the ball, and I don't think it's sort of uh, played on my mind that the ball might have been in the Hilton Hotel, that he might have been, you know, in the top bar at the Hilton Hotel and knocked the ball back. I don't think that uh, actually went through my mind, but uh, and, and I think it was probably seeing it later on and seeing it on, uh, seeing it replayed, you know, tens of thousands of times that I've, you know, realised what a, an amazing moment it was. Oh, look, Carlton's been a big part of my life. Um, I plot my life according to the success of the Carlton Football Club, but uh, it can get me into a little bit of trouble at, at, at home when, uh, you know, I talk about, uh, you know, 60, where I was in 68, where I was in 72 and 79. And, uh, and you know, my wife just said to me the other day, you know, where was I? I remember too much stuff according to, how Carlton was going and you know what was uh, I, I somehow seemed to be able to link my life with what with what was going on at Carlton.